how to make a carousel in Google Sites. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can make a create a carousel and integrate it into your Google Sites. In today's video I'm going to show you three different methods. The first method is going to be here integrated within the Google Site itself. So you are going to add this item from Google Sites and the second and third method is going to be using Canva and also Outsite. So let's begin here with the first method, which is going ahead to choose one of the websites. Of course, you need to sign up for an account on Google. Then you need only to uh, set up here the website. As you can see here, I have my website ready. So here to add the carousel, you're going to head over the dashboard of your uh, menu here at the right side of the screen. You're going to see a lot of elements. You need only to insert it from the menu of insert and choose the page that you want. For example, you are going to use it or add it to the home page, or you are going to use it and also add it to the uh, product page. Here I have named it like this. So we are going to head over the home page first, click on insert. Now we are going to scroll down a little bit. And here we see here a, a, a place or an item named image carousel. So you are going simply to click on it. This is the image carousel. Now it will demand from you to have at least two images added. So you are going either to select some images from your Google Drive or you are going simply to select from your computer. So let's go ahead and add this one and that one and this one. Uh, so we are going to click on insert. Then we are going to click on insert. Boom, here we have it. I'm going to make it a little bit wider. So we are going to get the whole thing right there. So make sure that you are going to add the uh, limits of the images. So like that, I think. Whoa, where is it? So here we have it. I'm going to make it a little bit like that. So it has a bit uh, slow on here. So we are going to put it like that. Why it is bugging, I don't know, but we are going to make it only like that. So boom. Now we have, as you can see here, the three images added. So we are going to click on publish, publish it again. So we are going to get the option to view the website. We are going to click on view. And here we have the image carousel. So we are going to see here the three images that we have added and they are in a form of a carousel. So make sure that you have added the right dimensions and also a high quality images. So you are not going to get the blurry effects on these one because they are looking like they are zoomed in a much, much uh, uglier. So we are going to ignore that and I'm going to proceed to the next step on how we can do that. We're going to head over Canva. So from Canva, we are going to uh, create a image carousel. So we are going to click on uh, custom size here. After also you have uh, uh, set the access to the dashboard of your account. Then you are going to click on custom size here at the top. We're going to use a portrait uh, by the width of uh, 1280 by also the height of 720 and the unit here is going to be pixel. Then you are going to click on create design. After that, you are going to add the images that you have. So this here, head over the uploads. So we are going to set up this image as the first image. The second image is going to be this one, for example. So are going to make it like this and third image is going to be this make it a little bit bigger so i think the quality will not go uh bad with this so here we have it now we are going simply to download each one of the image uh right here uh, by itself so we are going to select the first one download it to the first one so we are going to head over also the second image i'm going to share download png make sure that you are going to use the png now i'm going to head over the second image 
and now we are going to head over the third image by deselecting all of these and going right there uh this is for the reference images in case you have lost the access to the images but i will let you see here how we can embed that specific area into your carousel here so we are going to click on share then we are going to select the three points or the three dots you're going to select from here embed and then you're going to click on embed again and boom so you have here two options either you are going to use the html or code embed or embed code or the smart link uh, like here so i'm going to use one of these because in google uh, sites you are going to get here the uh the freedom to use both of them or one of them so we're going to click on insert then you are going to select embed here you are going to get two choices either by url or by the embed code so we are going to paste in here the code click on next and then you are going to click on insert so we are going to make it wider and a bit longer so you are going to get the menu from here so now i'm going to click on publish again i have the website then we are going to see the canva as you can see integrated uh, here uh, carousel so now let's go ahead and use elf site so we are going to create a widget for those who don't know what is elf site it is a platform that will help you create some widget without coding and at the end of the operation you're going to get an embed code and that code will help you to integrate into your website so you are going simply to head over here. Then we are going to see the different tools. So we are going to see here that we have slider. I'm going to set up here the slider. This is it. And this is the uh, carousel option. So we are going to click on edit widget. It will prepare for us the widget. You are going to select here the full width slider for example a product slider or a store offer so then we are going to click on continue and here you're going to use the images this is why it told you that we need to add the images so here are the content you're going simply to add the image so you are going to click on the image and then you are going to replace it from a file yes are going to put up here all the images that we own so when you finish you're going to set up everything and then you can go ahead and see the settings and some advanced uh, menus or coding so you can set up the width the height the corner radius the paginations arrows and etc then you are going to add it for free to our website because we have a free plan on it so we are going to choose the template click on publish boom here we have it now we are going to set up here the free one of course and now we are going to click on install copy the embed code and we are going to head over the, the google sites click on embed again embed by code boom we are going to wait for it watch it happens so we are going to make it like that put it also like this give it the right amount of the length and also the width click on publish boom and here we have it now we are going to click on view and here we have three carousels first one second one and the last one here look this is very professional so that was all for today's video thank you guys for watching i hope that you have enjoyed the content and hope to see you soon on the next one